first ever meeting with them was um, a, a, an after show party in Sheffield just down. Um, um, it's a bit embarrassing now looking back, but we did try and throw them off the stage uh, because we had our own DJ there and we didn't want them to uh, DJ. But apart from that, well, we DJ at that party. And oh yeah, he apart was, from he, he was like getting us chucked off DJing, him and Liam Gallagher. So as we were doing it, I was thinking, oh, this music's pretty good that they're playing, you know. Um, so I kind of changed, Be even before we kind of tried to eject them off the stage, um, I decided that the Chemical Brothers were a great band or great prospect or whatever because it was kind of early days um, and since then you, I've just been obviously you you keep a keen eye on people that you respect and into and I think um, the difference with the Chemical Brothers and say the test and the tracks like that is that hopefully there'll be the records that in 25 30 years time there'll be kids then digging out records and perhaps they'll have their greatest power then rather than now you know and um, I always respect people who are into that, who make that kind of statement. They, they're going to try and make stuff that's timeless, and and uh, hopefully we achieve that with a test. Yeah, when he first came in the studio, and that voice when it first started just being that it was unbelievable. That sound, it was so, just filled the room. It's really he got a primal new. quality to his voice. You know, yeah. it goes right, s straight. Just through. that big uh, thing at the beginning was it? Oh, yeah. And <laughs> the first time I heard that, but yeah, he was really good. Nice bloke. Ah, a pair of wankers, the both of them, yeah. Complete tossers. Um, you know, uh, Tom and Ed, the lo lovely guys, you know, from the from the little I know, they might be planning a mass murder for all I know, but um, they're just uh, a couple of lads, really, you know. I don't, I, I, I didn't, they didn't seem too student-y to me, apart from an argument about a packet of digestives that they had halfway through the track. I mean, what, one thing that's outstanding is they've actually had a career, you know. Most people in the dance music genre find it difficult to, to have a career, find it difficult to span X number of years without um, falling out of grace or being unfashionable or the sound being dated. What they've been able to do is mutate the sound and grow with the sound and add to it and expand it. So, you know, that's, that's the great thing they've managed to do is um, keep a career going, keep releasing records and, uh, you know, keep creating. They can do anything, you know, they've got an opportunity of inviting different guests, different people to sing with them. They could make a soundtrack record, I think would be a good place for them to go. That's something I'd like to do and it's something that they'd be really good at, I think. Um, they've got, you know, they've learned so much. They've been through the hype. They've been through the negativity, so now's the best place now. You know, you've been through it, you've seen it and witnessed it and I think you're perhaps freer as a musician around this time than at any point in your career. So I, I'd expect the best music in the next few years.